everybody, so my name's Jess and today I'm giving you a little walkthrough on what it's like to host a Bright Bites presentation. So to start off with, you've obviously got this introductory slide, so this is a good time to introduce yourself, say why you're coming today, so something along the lines of, hello, my name's Jess and I am here to give you a talk about your teeth. And this is our Bright Bites presentation to give you an idea on why it's so important to look after our teeth. You would then move on to your next slide, which is telling you all about your teeth. So you would start off by showing this image, moving on to the next bit, which will say that we've got 20 primary teeth in our mouth, which we need to brush and protect. Why do we need to do that? It's a good time to ask the audience that question and see what kind of response you get. Following their answers, you can obviously move back on to the next part, which says we need our teeth to eat, talk, smile and sing. And then we'll move on to a slide which tells us all about our teeth and the different shapes and sizes of them. It'll show us one by one each tooth. So this is about the biting in sizes. So you can show in your mouth whereabouts these are, or this is a good time to get your mouth model out and you can demonstrate on there. So the biting in sizes are obviously here at the front. And then you can move on to the next tooth. Again, pointing at the canine teeth here and then the premolars around here and then the chewing molars and demonstrate those and it's also a good time when you can give an example on where you would use those teeth your biting incisors you would use to bite into a sandwich for instance and you would use your chewing molars to break it down so then it's small enough for you to swallow Okay, so now that we've talked for elder teeth, could you show me where in your mouth they are? Where are those biting incisors? Can you show me at the front? And your canine teeth? Well done. Premolars and chewing molars. Ah, uh, <laughs> very good. Then we move on to brushing our teeth. So at this point, you can ask the children, how often do we brush our teeth? And now we're gonna move on to brushing our teeth. So does anybody know, how often do we need to brush our teeth? Does anybody know? This is where you would encourage them to try and tell you how often they should brush their teeth. Then we'll move on to the image, which will of course say that it's good to brush your teeth in the morning and at night. Brushing your teeth after breakfast, giving a little background on that. And then you'll move on to talking about brushing your teeth at night. So you can read what's on the slide and also ask the children why they think that it's important. We can mention about plaque, which is sticky coating covering the teeth and the gums. So it's important to brush that away before breakfast and then at night. And at this point, you can also ask the children, how long do you think you need to brush your teeth for? Does anybody have any idea? Once you've had a response, you can also show this last part on the slide, which says, that the recommended amount of time to spend brushing your teeth is two minutes. So covering everywhere in the mouth. You can also mention that it's good practice to brush the tongue as well to make sure that your mouth is nice and fresh. Now we'll talk about how to brush. So again, this is a good time to get your mouth model out and you'll also have a little toothbrush with it. It's good to guide the children that they don't need a lot of toothpaste covering the brush, just a small pea size amount is more than sufficient. You could also ask the children at that point, does anybody know how much toothpaste we should put on our toothbrush? So then you want to demonstrate the best way to do the brushing. Brushing in small circles, overlapping the gums, going all around the mouth. Like this. You need to show that they need to do it on top of the teeth and around the backs of the teeth all around the mouth. You'll cover all of the chewing surfaces and then again advise that it needs to be for two minutes and then to spit it out but don't rinse the paste away, don't get a glass of water and wash it all away because then you're getting rid of all of the good work that you did. At this point you could invite children from the, the group, ask them would anyone like to come and have a go? Probably recommend them to raise their hands at this point rather than them all come running up. <laughs> choose somebody from the group, let them come up, have a little go, and then they'll go and sit down. You may want to ask a couple of children just to give the, a few of them a chance. And then once they're all seated back down, you can move on to the next slide. 
which is about healthy foods. So at this point, again, it's good to ask the children, does anybody know what, what food is healthy for us? What food is good for us? What should we eat on a daily basis? What do you think? Once you've had a bit of a response, you can click. It'll start to show you a picture. So you can obviously give some examples from what's shown in the picture. And then it'll tell you healthy teeth are happy teeth. So it's very important to eat, eat our five a day, eat our fruits and vegetables to keep our teeth strong and to choose healthy snacks. So can anyone think of some other healthy snacks? We've got listed here cheese, yogurt, apples, bananas. Those are all healthy things to choose that will help your teeth. But does anybody else know anything else that would be a good choice? Once you've had some engagement on that question, you can move on to the next slide, which as you can guess, is about unhealthy foods. So again, you can ask the children, can anybody think of some unhealthy things, some things that are not so good for our teeth? Once you've had a response, the image will come up to show some other examples, and then it will explain why these are not such good choices. You could also ask the children prior to showing this information, why are these food choices not particularly good choices to eat lots of? It will then tell them, Sugar, it's harmful for our teeth, can cause cavities. And it's okay to have treats and things like this on occasion. We all like to have a special little treat from time to time, but it's not something that we should have all the time. It should just be something that we have every now and then. Then we'll move on to this slide, which ties in quite nicely with that last one, which covers how much sugar is in drinks. You can obviously talk about the information that is on the slide, that it's a large cause of tooth decay. And then we've got some examples of drinks that quite often children do consume. So the likes of Capri Sun, Fanta, Ribena, etc. So each one will have some sugar cubes and we're going to move on to that next. But it would be a good idea to engage with the children and say for each drink, how many sugar cubes do you think is in a Capri Sun? See what they say. You can say, you know, how many do you think? probably get some responses from the children and then say, well, the total is, and then it will tell you that it's four sugar cubes for the Capri Sun. Likewise for Fanta, it will say the same again. Moving on to Ribena, which then goes up to six. A smoothie, again, six. And again, throughout this interaction, you can obviously ask the children what they think for each one. Then we move over to Coca-Cola, 10. And most surprisingly, I'm sure, milkshake, 11 cubes of sugar. Go through all of that with the children, see if they can, you could ask them, do you drink anything else? What other drinks do you like to, to have at home? Respond to them accordingly. Prime is quite a commonly mentioned drink. Again, it's not one that actually contains a lot of sugar, but it isn't a particularly healthy choice. So that's probably something that I would recommend pointing out if that one comes up. Other options that are commonly mentioned are the likes of squash. It's worth noting that these things are okay to have from time to time, but the recommended things to drink are milk or water. And all of these drinks and things should definitely be more of a treat, not something we should have every day. And now we'll move on to what will happen to my teeth if I don't look after them? So if you drink lots of those sugary drinks, eat some of those unhealthy foods, don't brush your teeth as often as you should. What will happen? What do you think? It's a good time to ask the children what they think at that point. And then we'll move on to saying that if we don't look after our teeth and we don't have good oral health, our teeth can begin to decay and rot, which could be quite painful. And if they get really sore, a dentist might have to give you a filling or they might have to take out a bad tooth and taking out a bad tooth is called an extraction. So it's also important that we keep an eye on looking after our teeth and try and go to the dentist where we can as well. And this is an example of what your teeth could look like if you don't look after your teeth, as you say. Now we move on to the visiting the dentist slide. So why do I need a dentist checkup? This is a good time to ask that question to the children, ask them, you know, raise a hand if you've been to the dentist before comment accordingly, say, okay, good, some of you have, you know, how did you find it? It's not too scary, is it? That sort of thing. And then you move on to say that why it's so important to visit a dentist. So a checkup allows the dentist to have a little look at the teeth and make sure that everything's all okay. If there's any problems, they will 
give advice on what's best to do next and what you need to do to help make your teeth healthy. And if you don't go to the dentist and we leave these things untreated, that's when it will be more difficult to treat in the future. So it's important that when we notice these problems with our teeth and the dentist says that you need to do certain things to look after them, that we need to deal with them as, as we can there and then. We can also talk through this point, what it entails going to the dentist. So you can sort of run through and say, when you go to the dentist, check in at the desk, you'll say your name, you'll sit in the waiting room, and then the dentist will call you through. You'll sit in their special chair and they might tilt you back and have a little lick inside your mouth. They might need to spray a little bit of air in there or a little bit of water, um, just so then they can do a proper check and then they will let you know how your teeth are looking and what you need to do more of or what you maybe need to eat less of. So it's, it's not a scary experience, it's just it's really important that we do go to the dentist to keep an eye on how our teeth are looking. So now we're just gonna recap everything that was shown through the presentation. So what do we need to remember? We must remember to brush our teeth twice a day for two minutes. So two is the key number there, two times a day, two minutes each time. Remember, you don't need to put all of that paste on your brush, just a small pea size amount. And remember, you've got to cover all of your teeth when you're brushing them, as well as your gums, front and back, top and bottom. And don't rinse your mouth. You don't want to get rid of all that hard work you've done doing the brushing and the cleaning. You need to make sure that all of that stays in your mouth. So don't wash it all away straight after you've put all of that on your teeth. Important to make healthy food and drink choices. So remember those foods that we discussed, the unhealthy options and the healthy options. Remember what we need to have more of and what we definitely need to have less of. And those drinks too, remember those sugar cubes. You don't want to be consuming all of those just in a drink. And of course, remember to visit the dentist for a checkup to make sure that your mouth and your teeth are nice and clean and healthy. Thank you for listening. If any of you have any other questions, please do ask away. If not, I'd just like to show you that today your teachers will be giving out a toothbrush, a toothpaste for you to take home, and you'll also have a sticker each and a leaflet too. You can also show the teachers that they've got a set of posters to keep which covers all of the information you discussed today. So obviously that one's about when to brush, this one's about those food choices, and this one is again about good practice and bad practice. So lots of things to take home and keep to continue your positive oral health journey. Thank you very much for listening. You've all sat so nicely and I hope you've enjoyed learning all about bite bites and how to keep your teeth healthy.